Good morning, grade one. How are you doing? I hope everything is fine and okay. So today's lesson is feet. Please open your page 417 in your math main book. So here we have a ruler or a long ruler is one foot long. 12 inches equals one foot. Use feet to measure long or tall objects. So here we have this crayon, as you can see, this crayon is less than one foot. And here we have this book. So our book is about a foot. Here we have our board. The board is more than one foot. So we're going to do here is we're going to estimate. We're going to estimate is it less than one foot? The object that the picture that they are giving us is it less than one foot in the real uh, real life? Is it about one foot or more than one foot? So this is the question they said. Think about these real objects, then estimate the length or height of each, then circle the most reasonable estimate, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a ruler to check your estimate. So let's start. Obviously, number one is already done. So a table, is it small, medium, or big? This is how we can make it easier. So a kind, is it more than one foot, about a foot, or less than one foot? Of course, it's big, so it's more than one foot. Number two here, you're going to answer that. This table of maybe is it one more than one foot, about, or less than one foot? Now, actually, I could say it depends. But mostly the, they are small, so it's a small object, like, like a phone, for example, phone length, uh, like, um, let's say, like, like a small pencil case. All those are kind of less than one foot, okay? So here we estimate it. Now here, we have here the phonics book. I hope that you like phonics as well. So, is it more than one foot, about one foot, or less than one foot? Here we said that a book is about a foot. So we're going to say, about a foot, smart enough, good job. Okay, here is the computer screen. So, is it more than one foot, about a foot, or less than? So, it's big enough, so we can say it's more than one foot. Do you agree? Excellent! Super grade one, I'm so so proud of you. Okay, we're gonna do right now. So we will move to our next page over here. So in our next page, we're gonna keep on doing the same thing. Number six is already done with the tape. Number seven here, what we're gonna do is they said over here, this object is it more than one foot, about a foot or less than one foot. What do you think? Super, like our notebook and, and like our books and the phonics book, I think it's about a foot. I guess your estimate is super, super grade one. Okay, number two, this little object over here, what do you think about it? It's basically a small object, so I'm going to say it's less than a foot. Okay, and here, it's kind of tall, even though it's twisted over here. So you're going to say it's more than one foot, isn't it? Super, because it's taller than your ruler, your tall ruler, let's say. Here, we're going to choose between inches and feet. Actually, you remember our inches uh, lesson. If you didn't watch it, please go and watch it so you can do this. Now we're going to say, would you use inches for or feet to measure the length of these real objects? Let's circle this. We're talking not about the picture, we're talking about the real object. If we're going to use the picture on those, we, we're only going to use inches because the pictures are so small in here. But we want the real object. So basically, you're going to circle our answer. A carrot, for measuring a normal, normal carrot, what, what we're going to use? Feet or inches, what do you think? Carrots, kind of small, so we're going to use inches. Feet is for, like, long things. A beautiful big building. What do you think? Inches or feet? Could we measure a building with our ruler? Our school, for example, that we miss a lot? <laughs> no, of course, so it's feet. Good job. 
Okay, over here, this beautiful kind of big object. Super. I'm so proud of you, grade one. You did an amazing job. Please solve your homework. See you next time. Goodbye.